Hello and welcome. Welcome to Felsbrun 22. Now I'm going into this map, start from scratch. This is a map that I've always recognised is 19 was a beautiful map. I could never quite get into it, so I'm hoping we can break the curse and go in there. It was, yeah, I was needing a bit of inspiration. I'm sort of struggling with some of the bigger maps, and I thought I'm, I am loving this doing short series so I thought well just do what you can do at the minute and yeah when you're in a good headspace then like uh, crack on with your normal things so that's exactly what I'm going to do so then character creation so you start from scratch so let's take the time now to 0.5 so oh we've got some equipment now that's a novel change it is, although I've got to be honest, I say that, there are quite a few um, uh, map makers that recently are actually doing this, so I don't mind if I do. We are going to get rid of the loan almost instantly, so any little bit of help is severely, yeah, I'm well chuffed that we've uh, got a bit of help. So if we can find three or four of them, oh, this is the original Felsbrunn actual patch. The, the famous patch you could say this has been on so many let's plays and that's why we're not <laughs> we're, we're not doing it here well, but we will of course gather in these things and we will gladly accept the bit of a leg up that we've got with uh, I think that's it that, that, um, that is quite a nice little bit of 5,000 on top of the normal is good as well as equipment is a massive massive leg up now then let's go to the settings I am going to do this on normal because I find it's very difficult to get traction and oh, now he's off that's all we want yeah it's one day months three day seasons I've got everything on and we're gonna keep that on I'm gonna do my normal settings I always knock this down it doesn't make much of a difference but it is different going to use my standard settings that I have fine-tuned over the year of Farmer Simulator or over a year now really to be honest and the one that I am beginning to remember is this one here yeah let's save the game as a baseline right so then we have equipment which is a nice place to start we won't have any land but we're just going to prove that yeah we're going to go out and press that down with no blue squares at all now then the shop is exactly what it was before which is why it isn't a bad place to be right there but obviously yeah right first thing we're going to do is pay back the loan which I absolutely detest but th I've got to be honest normally I've got a bit of trepidation because we've not got any equipment and you've got to like struggle for a tractor because I like to start straight away now so that's the loan paid off we have let's have a look in our arsenal if there's any joggling around we're gonna do we're gonna do instantly we're not gonna faff around going to the I'm not a massive fan of that uh, we will replace it all that I'm trying to go no till but I do love that harvester I really I'm a massive fan of the top liner so we're gonna keep that I love the Massey I'm quite happy with that and we also have two favorites both 115 horsepower so they're usually the ones that you can upgrade to 150 not a massive fan of the welga but I have had it quite a few times now and the cedar the Nordstein yeah we'll sell that yeah I'm gonna go any way other than that and the weights I have got my favorite weights that I usually bring in so yeah it looks like we're gonna keep we're gonna even keep the welga we're going to have a look at the sales. Oh, my favourite starting tractor that I very rarely get a chance to use. Wow. I will say one thing. Although I love the... If we get a chance to upgrade to a tra a, a harvester that's like stupendously big with a massive hold that's almost the same cost as the one we own, then truthfully... <laughs> we didn't see that before we will indeed and there's no point in keeping that and all that really so yes changes already now that's a hundred horsepower how much to go up to the hundred ninety four I think we'll do that uh, yeah we've up to five hundred seven thousand with selling that little lot 
Whether you can go for a short, I think. No. Yeah, that'll, that'll do, it will. We've got... Yeah, we'll go for two and extra work lights. Try and go no attaches. Yes, three point front ladder attacher. We'll leave that off for now. 56,000. It's normally 80 odd grand when you do that. I'm tempted to do that, to be honest. Now then, let's see what it'll let us, because sometimes it's already got this plugged in. But also, it can go to the bale trailer too. Is that the biggest? Like it is. Plus 2,500. Let's do it. Don't like the colour though. Ooh, okay, we will do. Okay, let's let's do a nice little bit of now then with mainly fence. So let's go and have a look at some fence. And it's gonna be no oh, actually this is gonna switch the normal fence colours on, which I don't mind really if, if it matches. Yeah, let's go for the dark green. Yeah, oh, what's the chassis? Uh, Colour extension, I presume that's. Yeah, I, I will have that. 9,900. Uh, we will keep the other one too, the Welga, and we're going to buy that also at 451 horsepower because this little beast is a bit of an upgrade for very little extra. The Taurus truck, we have not got the actual truck, so yeah, not really much point in doing that. So we're down to 285,946. We've had a few upgrades though, really, with that, but one thing we really do need is 285,000. So really, we're almost at where we would be, and we bought some, it swapped some equipment. I know we've not got a header. That's the one thing I've obviously got, we've got to look out for going forwards, but we can lease. I would really like to actually go for, let's have a look, is there anything, field 30, it has, needs ploughing, I'd like to go near to, now what is in field 31, cotton, now I've got to be honest, I don't like doing cotton on small fields, never have, so we're not going to buy 31, we'll probably go for 30 where we can actually do a bit of planting straight away if that's right that's a lot of cash for us oh although that's yeah that's actually more let's have a bit of a poke around i always like to do this i would like to go close to uh oh okay that's rather stupendous but it's not near to anything you've got lit mountain tracks to go around to get out of that place so if there was anything to go for these ones here, I've got extra land, but if it's the mountainous hilly ones, it's yeah, not really going to be terribly. Now that's the original plot, we're right back where we were before. It is a quite a good plot, truthfully. Yeah, that's not bad, you, you've got quite a lot. I have had that one before in the past, but you lose a lot with the tree section and it's all hilly. If it's, of course, like it was in the past. Yeah, right. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I've not really showed you how long we've been on this, have I? I usually go to that straight away. Now, obviously, we're going to have been on this for a few minutes now, but we've not done anything other than literally been on this map for eight minutes, which is about right if we went back. So right, land I believe we were looking for. Yeah, I'd like to start straight away now, but really that's not a terrible problem being as we've actually got a load of equipment. Uh, you will notice obviously we've got the uh, premium pack is present. So really, what are we doing? Yeah, let's reselect the land. I like that it's got potential as a um, and it's also quite reasonable, it's a terrible feel, but if it's going to be farmyard stroke, it does leave us a bit to play around with. And that's a... Let's go and have a bit of a look. It's actually opposite us, dead opposite us, and it is quite hilly, I know that, but there's a lot of field that's not been used on this section. It is hilly, though. 
Yeah, we haven't really got a tractor that's capable of this particular type of... Yeah, we really run right the way up past here. So, you, again, even productions are going to be a struggle. But this is Felsbrunn. It is sort of... This is really what we've got to deal with. It is... Yeah, there's a few bits and bobs you could stick back here. So, 28 then as like the farmyard, bins for a start from scratch, it's very good value because it is awful uh, but then so is 41 what's 41 look like? yeah that's the cornfield right there what does this look like? now this is far more hilly, there's a very little terrain here on the extra bit that you could really use there's a little bit down here but again it's really yeah because the road runs that through that other one so although this one looks terribly good it's going to be a nightmare to act i mean we've got a stronger harvester that's one thing i am going to say sometimes i find that when you saddle yourself though with something like that how about that one oh Wow, these are bigger than you think, aren't they? It's strange because it's not that much bigger. 59. No, that's. Yeah. 226. That's just. Yeah. 26, 25. I'm only doing this because you sometimes find with maps that there's one that sort of stands out as representative of a little bit more value than uh, others sometimes a bit of a fighting chance an un yeah an unforeseen one really oh not that one that's that's what is that that's the next field up runs underneath the mountains not a good but not a bad but then again there are other ones we could you know the original strips um they're not trouble they are a bit hilly but then this whole map is hilly you're not going to get anywhere without it being a bit hilly really so leads us right back to really 42 that's 150,000 too with quite a lot of headland let's go and have a look at that one yeah let's go let's jump to the shop it's a little bit closer yeah, it's. Uh, I have actually owned this one before, or no, I think I started on this one a long time ago. Say so the whole map city, so yeah. I mean, the Ares now is 194 horsepower. That is going to stand us in good stead. It's ready to rock and roll. Ah, and it is actually planted with grass. So, and it has got quite a lot of flattish headland that you could instantly put productions down. Now. Start from scratch is a funny one in so much as you don't have much. Yeah, there's a quite a decent headland here. Again, productions we could easily do to begin with. So if this is growing grass, looks like grass is the way we go. Now I can see. Yeah, we're not actually, this is not a starting, this is just looking. So we are going to have to repair everything. Did do my repairs, as I'm sure I saw some collectibles in the distance weird how the draw does strange things yeah you can see them when you shouldn't really be able to see them wow smash it i will take that definitely so then 292,000 946 so nearly 293,000 to play with I think we will buy that very field what have we got what do we need now grass is growing we will are we going to lease or buy a scanner we won't have one I think we're going to well actually the other thing is sometimes it's it's only marginally more expensive to actually purchase the information why is that not letting me do it? Why can I not click on 30? Yeah. Well, that's a bit of an odd one. Okay, well, that is a bit odd.
Well, I'm quite sure we can scan it, so we will do that. So let's lease a scanner then, yeah, we're being as we can't do it any other way. Now, and then we, I think, being as the grass is growing, there's really very little for us to do this particular month. Although, as I said, I'm going to start straight away, but we can't start if the field that we're having isn't actually grown, if you know what I mean. So let's grab the arrows. Let's repair this little butte. I'm not sure if any others will have the front loader attacher on, but we should see now. Remind me, where is the repair point? remember it's a long time since I've been on this map it looks very similar though that's one thing I am definitely gonna say uh, that one there ah. right, so right by the red and yellow barrow barrels right let's switch that straight off I think I can remember that red and yellow barrels barrels right let's go get uh, that done scanned I'm loving the fact that we've sort of had an upgrade straight away that is amazing I do love using the sails a lot if I'm being totally truthful I really do now you can used to be able to sneak through this way although actually we are really the further field back but yeah it's as we can see though there's a nice amount of headland for this field too I do like that. It's a fairly hefty field if I remember rightly. Yeah. It's just definitely two or three scans. And this is a fairly good scanner. Ah, oh, have we not? Oh, is that? No, we haven't. That's why. <laughs> Schoolboy error. Schoolboy error. Right, now, now we see why we couldn't say. Purchase soil. Oh wow, it's a bit dearer, so <laughs> we've leased this now. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Oh my life. Well, do you know, schoolboy error. Yeah, I've got to be honest now, I, I, just, I feel a little bit hot and bothered. That's why I couldn't really concentrate. I was I was hoping to be on another map, but I thought, no, I'd sooner do a recording than not do a recording. So, the, hence the fact that I've wanted to start another map just to uh, do a little bit of short. I can say I did say fold. It's not listening to me. Ooh, I can't pretend I haven't seen that. Nope. Now the standard rules for myself are usually that um, bank loans are always frowned upon uh, but allowed if there's a reason to like have a bridging loan for grabbing a piece of equipment but only if there's a reason for us to be able to do that we can't just like have a bank loan yeah just for the sake of having a bank loan absolutely yes and then let's have a look what do we look like uh, uh, medi mediocre not not fantastic not terrible right so really although I usually sort of say we're gonna start straight away because our one and only field is actually growing there's very little we can actually do apart from we could I suppose yeah it's, it's well uh, yeah but can you affect a growing field now we're we gonna put a generator on this we should be on times one. Do we put a generator on? I, I think we're going to go a little one. I do. I'm not going to do anything like the Lords because that seriously can. Yeah, absolutely seriously. Now then, this does go right up to here. I want it out of the way if we're going to do a generator. I want it. And let's have a look actually. Does that cover us right to. Let's run up to the top. I want to literally put me by where I'm going to be so that I know. Because this mod that I'm going to place is um, very finickety about it being on your land. If you don't put it on your land, it won't generate for you. Nor can you get rid of it. 
I'd say we're about really on the edge of our fields or our land let's put it that way yeah maybe that bit there is the sort of thing so we're gonna stick a very small generator on made by Bernie yeah uh, it's got to be on ours. Yeah, that, that little patch the right there is about right. And we're going to go through till tomorrow because we're waiting for our grass to grow. So, yeah, there's nothing we can do. But, oh, needs ploughing straight away. It's the one bad thing I hate about this when you've got need ploughing switched on because he's not even grown for us to plough it. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're going to take a hit from it, that's definitely true. So let's go through till morning. We'll have a little bit of a... Uh, uh, we're going to have to start at 8, and I hate that. Yeah, past August, but yeah, otherwise you do that funny little thing where you've got to zip an hour on. And So let's see what's going to happen. Although obviously we're going to have a grass start because that's what the farm has planted. Fantastic. Oh, I've got the... Now this is a brand new mod only stuck in yesterday by SPC Bueller. Yes, and you are reading correctly, a 40-footer. I've got to be honest, he did say it's, it's like nothing special, but it is a 12.3, 160 horsepower, for 7,540, I think we'd be silly to say no, really, wouldn't we? And we appear to be on pounds. So I think we ought to correct that straight away. And we will save it at that point. Right, well, even if we're doing a grass start, growing grass at first growth stage, it seems a little bit bad to me. But if we're going to do this and we're going to cut this, we're going to be cutting this November, the very last cut we probably will rip this up, so I'm not sure that we're going to... Although I suppose, yeah, we need to plough it, but I have got a new mod that is supposed to... You're supposed to be able to rip the cover crop up, and it sort of does away with the ploughing, but I don't know if you've got to have the needs ploughing unticked. Yeah, it's it's uh, conservation agriculture. It's uh, favouring uh, the no-till system, um, and the normal no-till direct drill systems can be classed as reset in the plowed state apparently yeah I, I don't know all of the details yet but one thing I do know is we're gonna have to get a fertilizer spreader and of course I'm gonna go for my favorite the holes and we're gonna fertilize and line this if we're gonna do this even once we need to make this count yeah we will indeed buy that yes and we need some provisions so we're going to need a bag of lime and a pallet of fertilizer from our good partner the Lord right okay then let's go down and grab the arrows being as we're down there already with it we will grab the rest of the equipment Oh, oh. Uh, other way. Oh, it actually matches quite well. I never realised, but yeah, it's quite true actually. That's quite. Yeah, that's really quite strange. I only put that BC Bueller, the big um, 12.3 meter in. Now it doesn't really matter which way we do this, truthfully. But I say that it probably would be a wise idea to actually push fertilizer away a little. Now I do did notice we haven't got a front loader. I'm not sure if one of the fence will be set up with the front loader. So really, we better to sneak across here is the quickest way to our field. Yeah, I want to. I, I like to start straight away now. I don't like to do my normal. Um, yeah, where we go across to. Yeah, look, yeah, look, do my year start. It, I, I did that to begin with because I really wanted to get to grips with the new game. And I do think 300 grand is a little bit difficult to actually do it on. 
it, I mean, we're really down to new farm start, and all we've got is, well, I mean, thanks to the map maker, um, we have equipment, which that's a nice place to start. Uh, and uh, obviously, we've got one field, so we're obviously it is a tough start. We have got obviously contracts, but I do try to favour as building our farm up really uh, ne nearly all the time, unless I absolutely have to. If we come to a crunch time where I've got to use uh, contracts, I will do, but. I really do prefer to work on our farm. I think the more time you spend on your farm, the better chance you've got of building up, even if that means cycling through the months because you've got nothing to do on the farm. I can live with that as long as we're building up the farm. Yeah, so the only asset we've got is the field. There's, I don't, maybe some of those, no, no, we saw the tree ridge. I really don't think, I didn't see whether we got a tick up from our system that's a trouble my focus is always just talking to yourselves and I don't always notice that usually noticing editing whether it was working or not right and stick this I always like to leave a bit around the edge of the field so a grass start and not our choice we just grabbed the field because it did look like well it did say it had been um, cultivated or ploughed but it's fibbing because it says it needs ploughing again, so now then this is the best way. Right. Sorry, I realise I've gone quiet. Right, let's get cracking. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Probably HX20, but I don't know. If we're thinking of like not staying in grass, it is a good cracking start, but to be honest, it's one of the most commonly done, even for myself. I often like to be guided by like what we get um, on in the sales, but we've got a harvester, so to me, we could lease or buy a cheap cedar. There's the caster, the very caster from this, which I don't, I very frequently, but I'd probably lease to begin with because I'd, I'd like to be guided by if we do get good choices through the sales now. Also, there are some cracking modded ones, so if nothing comes up or they're too expensive then, or nothing comes up full stop, then obviously then we could go for, um, yeah, one of the modded ones to start with. And there's some cracking planters, really reasonable ones, a couple of John Deere's that come to mind. So we've got 194 horsepower is the top tractor we've got, which is this very tractor. 215's and I think it was 170 Massey. So this is the top tractor. So we can sort of box to about 210, 220 horsepower. Sorry, just had a bit of a cough and fit just had to mute the microphone for a second. Right, well, I believe that is all us that we can do, except for the fact, obviously, really, we should be ploughing, but we cannot. So let's not put these right next to those. Let's put a little bit of distance between us. Right, smashing. So then. Yeah, also the other thing is, I only learnt, uh, it's weird, I don't know where I, what I didn't realise, but yeah, the HX20, I often favour the wireframes, but they're actually quite a lot slower than the HX20, so going forwards, I'll probably be favouring the HX20 when I get a choice, because although a little bit, um, also the other thing is, if we're trying this new no-till conservation agriculture, it means I'm not going to be leaning on the plough so much, and at the, recently I've been using the, um, the plough with the mulching configuration fibre by ridiculous dominant but if we're trying to move away from ploughs and we're using no-till systems as sort of ploughs in a way then obviously I'm going to have to have a mulcher and the beautiful thing about the HX20 is it also doubles up as a, a mulcher you actually you're cheaper than almost any mulcher really 
So, right. So, then we need to be going through till... Let's leave this on that. Yeah, let's go through till the morning. And it's 8 o'clock. I hate doing this. Yeah, I think we'll be cutting on November morning, which I hate. But we may only be doing this for one particular month. Yeah, we might be doing the cover crop thing where we direct drill it and go for a normal crop. I'm trying to think what we would do. But being as we've got grass, we may as well use grass at least once or maybe a second cut next year. Ah, there we go. 733 property income. So it is working. Now then, Scorpion King. Salt spreader. I've got to be honest, it is a beaut, but I think, <laughs> I always forget about this actually, I've got this in my things obviously or we wouldn't be seeing this, yeah but it is only 12,000 normally, I think it goes to, oh it doesn't, ah, it does, yeah the biggest one is, uh, yeah only, um, yeah, I've got forage type. That's what I was trying to think of. Oh, bale trader as well. I didn't know it came in that configuration. I might have to consider that a little bit more. It's solid as well, solid axle. Yeah, I mean, even for 12 odd thousand, it's normal price. It's a cracking sort of thing. I mean, we've got two, so we really don't need another one. So we want to be going through till November morning if we're going to cut this. The, sorry about the light, though. It is a little bit awful, really. In fact, let's speed this up to nine o'clock and do nine o'clock to nine o'clock it should be getting a little bit lighter even in the this time if we go to nine o'clock right let's go through till nine o'clock for tomorrow and we then we're going to cut this grass so i'm not sure if we're going to do it next next sort of year HX20, we've not had any balers or forage or anything like that. I'm trying to think what we'll do. I think probably. I don't know, it's not, not the best I've seen it, but. T7. 177 horsepower. The Terai. We seem to be getting this quite a lot recently. It's a little bit slow. Yeah, that's so one thing I'm going to say. It is a little bit slow. Aha, now this we need. We do, and our harvester is black. I think yellow and black and... Let's go chrome... Black. Oh, wrong way. The absence of colour. Yeah, yeah. Can't miss that. That's a cracker. Right. So then, crunch time. Now we need to be. We are going to buy one because say it will double up as the. So we're going to buy HX20. Can I buy it in mower config to begin with? Or we can switch it to mulching. Now for. The mod that we've got the mulching is quite important apparently you have to mulch into it so we shall uh, light system yes mulching no at the present 15,500 yes we are going to need a windrower which I would go for this nearly every single let's buy unless we've got one in the sales would be the Russell mash because it's so very reasonable by Russ Agro Tay. Yeah, fantastic bit of kit. And we're going to need some sort of a baler or loose. So then, what have we got in. Are we going to leave. Oh, we could, I suppose, to begin with, we could actually go for. The, the, I, I am favouring this quite a lot recently for two reasons it's cheap as chips but also gives you time to find something like a big baler I, I mean it's not, not going to be what's that mean top attachment huh. I don't really know what the 
difference would be. Let's try that for once and see if it causes any tr trouble. So a 13 cubic meter one for 3,600. We are going to buy it because it's just silly not to. So it's a cheap throwaway system. I don't mean that how it sounds. We're not going to throw it away. But what I mean is it's not going to break the bank. If we're not staying in grass forever, it's not going to hurt. Now, the one thing I'm going to say straight away is we're going to stick the farm supply production, which is an absolute fair. We're going to stick it as close to the road as possible, but without... Yeah, now that is a point. Where is our land? I think it falls smack bang in the middle of there I would say let's have a look whether that road is on the map as in like yeah our land if we do that ah, it's well away from yeah I wasn't actually far off wrong it is halfway through the headland so it is pretty much halfway through the headland pretty much where we are now really looking at that uh, no I would say pretty much if we look down about there and face down the in fact if we come up the headland a little bit so we can see both sides of the field go in the middle we can sort of point pretty much to where we would want it to go oh oh we're rolling <laughs> yeah so this we're going to stick down here as close to that as possible there's not many let's face I wouldn't put this down I do favor this over almost anything because it's such a cracking mod and also you can go straight into the fertilizer business almost instantly use the production shed as a fertilizer now then there's not much of a thing behind uh, looking at where we are uh, let's stick this with it almost on the road but I don't want to see right on the road in fact, yeah, the, the map will tell me when it where is acceptable. Brilliant. It's a bit of a lift there, which we saw straight away. We want to do the landscaping before we do anything else. Let's give it a bit of intensity. And yeah, we want to not do it too big, actually. Seems to be about right. Yep. Yeah. Brilliant. Then we need to stick a tap down. I'm going to go for my usual place on the left hand side of that because it causes the least amount of problems when I've placed it here. I know I'm going to go for the Omatana actual tap. Well, yeah, you can sort of see it lets you put it right next to it. It's quite happy with that. Right, so that's there. And we're going to need to do the production shed. We'll do that. I th oh, no, 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 because that's the edge of our land. We're going to do it on the right hand side. And it's a little bit further back and not far though. Now I thought it was actually still this way. Looks like my mods are. No, no, it is. Yeah, the, my, the mods seem to have had a bit of a shake up. Ah, no, that's the homebrew productions that doesn't do support anything for digestate which is why we need the production shed it's a little bit special for this type of thing so we'll put it a little bit further back ah that's far enough away I don't want to use V mode not really let's have a look at the back try and stick this pretty much yeah that's parallel smash it will match the colors of the uh, the painting I think which I think is that one it is We stick greats. I haven't stuck greats down for the last two or three sort of uh, let's plays. Yeah, I'm sort of getting used to the fact of not using them because sometimes they cause secondary problems. Right, we have all the tractors than this. We yeah, we want to set the team going now. So I'm going to stop the cameras for a few minutes. I'm going to drag the team. I don't want to waste the session. I'd like to get the first cut done 
so I'd like to bring the team down and we'll get cracking on the mowing and all the rest of it and I'll make the courses up so I'm going to bring you back when we've got the courses done and the teams all assembled so I'm going to see you shortly thank you very much for watching I hope you're going to stick with me on this journey and as always as fellow shareholders on the farm I always love to hear from you and goodbye for now.